My friends! Welcome back. Uh, last time we had lost quite a bit of footage in terms of what we were doing, but just to give you a quick snapshot, uh, we essentially collected some more slugs, and made a few more minor um, progression bits in the hub, and we built the space elevator. Um, we did a few other things of tidying up, but uh, we also automated the um, reinforced iron plates and put those on like a half level um, downstairs. So they're taking up a little bit of space um, above what our previous iron stuff was, but it's all out of the way. Uh, but with that in mind, we shall go directly into creating coal power. And coal power is Milestone out. reached. Coal is an improved alternative power source to biomass and can be fully automated if provided water with the new pipeline buildings and power throughout the initial setup. Coal has been added to the resource scanner. Note, ensure the close proximity of water to the coal production line. Note, pumps will aid in vertical transport of fluids through pipes. Note, throughput and volume indicators are added to each pipe section automatically. Machining, which just goes directly from those. Awesome. Well, then. Some mild preparation later. Pretty sure from memory there's a whole bunch of it that way. Another one? Are you kidding me? Two? Oh my. So many berries. Oh, okay. Ugh, I haven't done the. Yep. Forgot the very basic shit. That's okay. Done. Chris, before you say anything, I actually didn't purposefully put the splitter in the bush, and it was only upon reviewing the footage and editing that I realised that it was directly in there, but the purpose of the splitter is to go from 120 resources to split into 260 resources, because the Mark 1 conveyor belts do 60 resources each, and it's just far cheaper and easier for me at this point in the game to do two Mark 1 conveyor belts carrying 60 resources, then one really, really, really long Mark 2 conveyor belt, because I had literally only just started um, with the reinforced iron plates getting uh, automated, so that's why this whole thing happened. So I f 
I apologize because I put that in the bush and I know it's probably going to annoy you and I am so sorry, but I'm not really. Okay, bye. Uh, so what we do here is we just put down the foundations and I shall skip to when they are mostly done because it's not really that interesting if I'm honest. So here we go. Skipping and done. Over, so it would line up perfectly with these, but we just simply don't have the things for that at the moment. Eh, why not? Okay. So he's going to do 300 squared. Let's pump out 120 cool. So. so it's one of those. Alright, everything's hooked up. Just need enough <laughs> biofuel <laughs> to kick the system into gear, and then we can expand it out. So this is already taking way longer than I was expecting it to, so I'm going to be nice to all of you people watching this and just jump to me having fixed all the water issues and expanded it um, for the most part, um, so I guess watch some movie magic for a second. We 
we did it. <laughs> we sorted water. No major problems. Oh my word. Okay. Oh, that's right. We didn't actually connect this one. Okay. No. Should all be green. Ah. So now that I've actually fixed all the problems, I guess I can quickly show you guys how I did it. Uh, essentially had all of these splitters going between the two lines of coal, uh, going into the machines, um, because one line could service about four machines. So I have eight machines in total. As you can see, two lines going in there to, you know, two lots of four. Uh, each one of the um, water pipes also did four, so it all worked out perfectly. And with that, my friends, I wish you a fun-filled day uh, to do whatever it is that you want in the future with all of your futuristic knowledge and technology, and I say goodbye from the past. Bye!